covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. A teenage Twitch viewer sent $19,870 USD to several streamers using his mother's debit card over the course of two weeks. The teen's mother found the charges toward the card between June 14th to June 30th, uh, claiming years of savings were taken from her account over the two-week period. She says these donations went to popular streamers on the platform. The mother, who has decided to remain anonymous to protect her family, says that nearly all the money she lost has been credited back to her account. After struggling to contact anyone at Twitch to discuss the issue, the woman successfully received a refund from the streaming site's paying service, Zola. Using the company's online chat feature, she got adjusted credits on nearly all uh, transactions, but in exchange was told the account is permanently blocked to prevent future unauthorized charges. Before contacting Sola, however, she attempted to communicate with Amazon and even resorted to sending a registered letter to Twitch CEO Emmett Shearer. When all else failed, she tried contacting her bank, but they could only provide further assistance if she was willing to press charges against her son. She found out about Sola by, discovery, by discovering other parents online who also had found success in similar situations. Although she was able to receive most of her money, she said hitting a brick wall with Twitch was the most frustrating thing of all. The fact that no one would respond and there was no way to speak with anyone was horrible, she said. That was probably the worst. The son is remorseful, according to the mother, and is going to counseling. He's also been limited to one hour of monitored daily playtime, with a stipulation that he must do positive activities throughout the day, get exercise, and interact with the family in a positive manner. You know, as a father of young kids that are very engrossed in YouTubers and yeah, yeah, yeah. all that kind of stuff, this story makes me go, who <laughs> am I glad I'm not giving my kids my debit card? <laughs> when I first got an Amazon Fire TV stick, uh, I made the mistake of not setting a pin. Oh no! And of course, you're logged into your um, your Amazon account. Yeah. So um, I was at work, and suddenly my phone started blowing up. I'm like, what is going on? So finally, I pulled out my phone because I'm getting all these notifications one after another after another. And I look at my phone and I'm seeing Amazon charges one after another after oh, another no. to the tune of $450. Oh. Now, nothing like $20,000, but, but so this was a case where my son was playing a video game. Yep. And he determined that if he put 0000, .000 as the pin, because that was the default, yep. that he could buy anything in the game. Not realizing, it was not realizing it was actually oh, off my no. credit card. So did yeah. you get it refunded? I did. Amazon is fantastic That's for, good. for that kind of thing. So they reversed it and, and no problem whatsoever. But I can just, I can feel that stress that this woman yeah. must have been going through to realize $20,000 gone from my debit card. And, and that makes me think, like, is this a failure in our electronic system right now? I mean, I think this about TAP. Right. And how three, four years ago at the Toronto Santa Claus Parade, somebody had a, a tap receiver on, attached to their phone. You know how you can get yep. these devices. Yep. And they went through the parade and they stole $20 at a time just by yes. approaching people's pockets. Yes. And, and so walked away with thousands and thousands of dollars. And bef I don't even know. I never heard if they ever got caught. Oh, I'm sure they would have. Everything's traceable. They, yeah. So, it, but it just makes me think about debit cards, how they have the Visa logo now. Yes. And so like that has happened to my wife. Yikes. Um, she had a, a Visa debit. Yeah. And remember uh, when debit was the safe card? Right. I, <laughs> I remember that. I, I want to say it was maybe two years ago. Yeah. Um, she went to use her debit card and she couldn't use it. Oh, and no. she's like, what's going on? Oh no. Went online and found out that her account was locked mm -hmm. for suspicious activity. So she okay, looked in. So at least they're doing that. Right. Yeah. So she, so she looked into it and over the course of three days, there was hundreds of dollars in food purchases from all over California using okay. uh, the visa debit function. So somehow somebody had gotten her mm -hmm. visa yeah. debit information yep. 
and was making food purchases. And so like, because it operates just like a visa. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And so it was no big deal to do like 20 bucks to this pizza joint, yeah. you know, 30 bucks to this restaurant. And so whoever it was, was doing it. Now, thankfully she got all of her money back. It all Good. got, uh, Good. you know, returned. Yeah. But I mean, in the case of this story, so, I mean, there's a couple things here. One is how did the kid get the debit card? Or, or oh, was it how? just registered to the Just to the grab account? it anyway. from mom's wallet. Right. And, and it's... But second, you'd think the bank accounts, most debits have a daily limit of $1,000. True. And so if okay. he dropped 20 grand over a two-week period, either she had a higher daily limit or there was no limit on it. I'm thinking mama has $20,000 in the bank. She probably has a higher limit than I do. Well, that's probably true. I don't think I've ever had <laughs> $20,000. Not all at once. Maybe just before my mortgage payment came out, just after the right. put the money in. That's it. right, no. yeah. Yeah, but... Uh... But the other thing is the fact that, you know, there are kids that are out there, they're going, I want to donate to my favorite person. And I mean, right. my kids are always talking about their favorite YouTubers and... Uh, you know, our son with his Chromebook, mm -hmm. like I, you know, I, I have an email for him cause he's at the age he can have an email now. And so I have the, you know, master login for his email and every once in a while I'll just right. check up okay. on what he's doing check and I'm finding, oh, he's commenting on different YouTubers right. yeah. and I'm going, okay, I need to have a conversation with him about internet awareness and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm now very aware of what is linked up to that account. Mm -hmm. Could he purchase this kind of stuff? And so you have to think very security conscious as a parent, if you're going to start handing online accounts to your kids. That's a tough, tough situation. Now my, my producer is, is giving us the look that we need to move on, Sorry, but I'm a blabber. as a final thought on this particular story, as a content creator on platforms like YouTube, uh, a, a Twitch creator who, you know, it, that's, that's the biggest, like, fear and burn. And, and even, I'll be honest with you, and, and some of you may or may not know this, but even having had such a successful Kickstarter campaign, right up until the moment that the money's in the bank, you're, you're on the edge of your seat as a content creator thinking, what if they back down? Right. What if... Uh, you know, I've, I've basically budgeted these funds that have been donated. What if they retroacted that? That would be a real bad situation for me as a content creator. So to these content creators who received that $20,000 from this child, from this teenager, and then had it reversed, where did that leave them? Like, that's such yeah. a, a hard situation. So we need to be, there need to be things put in place to protect those content creators, the kids, the parents, um, there need to be, you know, I hate to say regulations, that's not what I'm talking about, but, right. but maybe Twitch is irresponsible. Maybe they're partly to blame for this. Maybe there's something that needs to be said about that. I, and that's all I'm doing him. is just opening the, that box and just letting you dive in to comment below. Right. What are your thoughts? Sadsack963 makes a really good comment about the debit card issue and, ha and, and a child being able to use mom's credit card and says, what if the uh, or debit card, what if these debit cards had 2FA? Oh, that'd Wouldn't be that be superb? So what if there was 2FA on your debit card that somehow, you you know, whether you pull out a, a, an authenticator token or, or the authenticator app on your phone, whatever it is that you need to, to use to that's be able to, idea. yeah, I think that's very, very smart. So thanks for submitting that.